another tool, I will turn off my PSM, raise my tool eye out of the way, and call up another tool, and then bring the tool eye back down and reactivate. It is safe to do that rather than accidentally turning into the eye because then you won't be able to use it anymore. So now that we are done with the tool eye, because we have set all of our tools that we need to set, I will turn off my tool eye. If you notice, the offset blinking light is now gone. I will then raise up my tool eye and put it up. I will just simply push it until it locks into position. Now, I am ready to set my work offset. To set my work offset, I will close my door and I will come back and put this back into normal. Now, I have set tool five, so I must use a known tool to set my work offset because it will set from home to the tool eye and then from the tool eye to the face of the workpiece. So, to get this going, I'm going to go into MDI. I can see on my screen I have MDI activated. I'm going to type in T505. T5 will turn my turret or orientate to tool number five. The 05 afterwards calls up the tool's geometry, which is what we just set. I will type in end of block, insert, and I will hit cycle start. When I hit cycle start, tool five will show up right here. Also, if tool five is not the orientated tool, it will orientate to that tool. So as I hit cycle start, you will notice that tool 505 is now active. During this process, we will not hit reset until we are done. So to see what I'm doing, I will release my door interlock. I will also open my door and I will turn on my spindle. To do this, I must be in a manual mode and then I will come down here to the bottom right and I will turn my spindle on manually. Now to do this, if you'll notice, I have a speed indicator that tells me how fast I can go. Never start your spindle full speed. Always start it at the lowest amount. So if I come back up to my machine on my screen, I will go to position. From my position page, it will show me what the actual speed is of my RPM, of my spindle. I want to be about 500 for steel, about 800 for aluminum. So I'll come back down and start increasing my increments. About 490, so that's pretty close. And then I will handle down to the face of my part and I will just take a very light facing pass. So I will be in the Z axis and I'll start moving toward my turret or towards my spindle. Once I get close, I will reduce my increment so I do not crash into my material. Once I get close to it, I will come up off of it. I will come over to take that small facing pass. Notice that when I'm doing this, I am not moving in the Z axis I am only moving in the X so from here I do not want to move in the Z axis at all because I have to set that location so that the machine knows how far it is from the tool eye to this location that is how I set my work offsets so I'll come back to my spindle manual and I will turn it off I will not hit reset because that will I will have to restart I'll come back up to my screen and I will go into the offsets setting page and if you notice I have down here offsets setting and work offsets as I said we will come to our work offsets I am using G54 I will erase what was originally in there and I will simply go Z zero soft key measure that tool is 10 inches 90 thousandths and one tenth from the tool eye to the face of my workpiece. Now to see if you've set this correctly, we can take our G54 Z location. We can add it, which is 10 inches, to 
to our offsets, remember the geometry, five inches, eight hundred thousandths. So 10 plus five and eight hundred thousandths would be about 15 inches, eight hundred thousandths. That looks really close. If I was to add up those two numbers, I should get exactly 15 inches, 899 thousandths and one tenth. With those two numbers adding up, that is the total distance from home to the face of my part. If those numbers do not add up, you will have a problem. More often than not, you will have the 15 inches, 899 thousandths in your work offset page. That is not correct. Once you do have all this correct, I will send my machine back home by closing my door and going into the Z zero return. I will go plus and X plus in Z. Once I am at the home positions, I am now ready to run my machines, run my program. So once I have ran the program and got everything done, I want to send this back to my computer. Also one thing to set up on our tool geometry for a 432, I want to use a 31 thousandths radius insert and a tool tip direction of three. That tells you what quadrant I need to be in to cut on the OD and the face of my part. So that cutter nose radius compensation will work correctly. So to come back to sending my program back to my machine, I want to make sure that it is the right program. So I'll be in edit mode and I'm going to change this to 02346. 02346. I'll hit alter. Make sure my key is in the edit position. And you can see that I have moved it over to 02346. This is the program that I want to send. So with my edit key in the on position, I'm going to come back up to my computer screen and I'm going to come up and hit program. I will hit operation punch. When I hit punch, this will take my program from the controller to the computer. So before I hit the punch, I have to do this in reverse. I have to get my computer ready to read my program. So if we come back down to my computer screen, I want to receive from my controller. So I will simply just click receive. It is now in a ready state, ready to receive. So I come back up to my control and I will hit punch. When I hit punch, execute, it will start outputting my program. Once it has output my program, I come back to my screen. As you can see, it is still loading. Once it has loaded the computer, the program successfully in there, it will tell you. I will simply hit enter. If you notice, that program is 2346. That is the program that I put back in from the machine into my controller. Once this is done, you can take your USB and put it on your computers and save it. From here, I'm finished with my setup. Everything is done, and that is how you do a setup on a Morisiki ZL25.